from uh, this graph. So uh, it's got a, another problem uh, from the principles inclusion exclusion where we have three groups. So this is, we can, we can try to use a Venn diagram here too, but it's gonna be a bit more complicated. So if we've got a thousand students total in the school and 650 total are taking English. So we've got English, and there's 650 total in there. 550 total are taking math. And 500 are taking science in total. see three and then we're given information about how many are in the intersections of like English and math, science and math, uh, English and science. And, and we're told that every student is in a, at least one of these. So that tells us another way to say that is the union of the three is 1,000. We want to know how, how many students are taking all three. So, so here we can use a similar principle of uh, inclusion and exclusion, but for three groups. So it's going to look like this. The union is, the number in the union is the number in each of them, but that's going to be over counting. So for example, if we take E and M and add them both, that's going to double add the area in, in the intersection. And same with M and S, that will double add the area in the intersection. So we need to subtract off the intersection of these two minus, and subtract the intersection of M and S and subtract the intersection of E and S. So that's supposed to be an intersection. Uh, and then let's see. So we've got we've taken E, M, and S. Then we subtracted out this each of these areas. But if you notice, let's see, E plus M plus S, that counts this middle part three times. And then we but we subtract off one, two, three times. So what we have here doesn't include the this middle area. So we need to add that again intersection of all three. So we take uh, we take E, M, S, add together, then subtract the pairwise intersections, then read re add the intersection of all three. And now we can just plug in. So we know we've got one thousand students total. And there's in English, 550 in math, 500 in science, and then we subtract the intersection of English and math times 350 minus the intersection of math and science is 200, minus the intersection of English and science is minus 250, and then we add the intersection again for the intersection of all three. equals all that. So we can simplify this. 1,000 equals uh, 650 plus 550, 1,200, 1,700, minus 350, 1,350, 1,050, plus 250, 800. 800 plus the intersection, or plus, we can write that out. Plus the intersection, so the intersection tells us what the intersection is. It's 800 plus the intersection is 1,000, so that's 200. And then we can, so we use the principle of inclusion and exclusion for that calculation. Now we can fill that back in. So we've got 200 in the intersection. Um, let's see, English and math. So we, can, we work from the inside outwards. So we can look at English and math that's 350 total, 
that's going to be you know, 200 right here, so that's 150 in here. Uh, math and science is 300, so that means 100 will be in here. That's math and science, but not English. Uh, English and science is 250 total, so and then 200 of that is in the this section of all three, so that leaves 50 behind. And then we know English total is 650. We've got 50. We've got 400 inside of here total. So 350 plus 50, 400, and 650 in total in English. So that's 250 left. And for math, uh, 550 total. So then we've got 350, 450. But there is 550 total here. That's 100 left here. And then for science, we've got 500 total, but we've already got 200, 150, so that, that leaves, that's 350, but there's 500 total, so that's 150 here. And then we can check. Let's see, we've got all six of these are taken care of. Now we can check that there's, uh, well, we've got 200 in the middle, that's right. And let's look at, is there a thousand total? Let's see. If we add these together, we will get a thousand. So let me double check that. Okay. Uh, so that's how we use the principle of inclusion and exclusion with three groups. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and hope you have a great day.